So I thought to myself, well, that's certainly a strategic nugget. Think of that. We're going to embark on a campaign of cleaning up the military, in the, cleaning up the Middle East by invading countries, knocking off their governments, taking over. Goodness gracious. I, um, I walked out of the office in 1991, and it was like a time warp. That's what they did after 9-11. They put the plan in place. I was in the Joint Chiefs of Staff 10 days after 9-11, and a three-star general said to me, Sir, come into my office. I said, No, I'm, you're too busy. He said, Sir, come in. Close the door. He said, I have to tell you this. He said, We're going to invade Iraq. This is 10 days after 9-11. I said, why? Did they find some kind of linkage with Saddam Hussein? He said, no, sir. He said, I don't know why. He said, I guess they don't know what to do about terrorism. But they know that the army can, we can invade Iraq and take down his government. He said, I guess it's like the old saw, you know, if the only tool you got's a hammer, then every problem has to look like a nail. I came back about six weeks later. I didn't want to, you know, overstay my welcome in the Pentagon as a retired officer. And we were at that time bombing in Afghanistan. I went back to see the same general. I said, so uh, tell me, I said, are we still, um, still going to go into Iraq? He said, oh, sir, it's, uh, it's worse than that. He picked up a piece of paper on his desk. He said, uh, here's a... Here's a, this is a memo I just got from the third floor, meaning the Office of the Secretary of Defense, that outlines a five-year campaign strategy. We're going to go first into Iraq, then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and then Iran. Five years, seven countries. I said, is that classified? He said, oh, yes, sir. I said, then don't show it to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they've lied to us. They haven't told us the truth. They didn't level with the American people before we went into Iraq. They haven't leveled with us about the difficulties that are there. They've been incompetent, didn't put enough troops in, didn't have the right mission didn't plan for what was going to happen afterwards. They've starved Afghanistan for resources where we could have achieved success and now we're in a failing mission there. They actually believe that the major obstacle to success in Iraq is the American people. Can you imagine? They think we're the obstacle to success if they can just keep us from knowing the truth, they think they can win. It's the most cockamamie, crazy, undemocratic notion I've ever heard in 38 years of following national security. They don't deserve to be in office, and we are going to throw them out starting in this election in 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to do this. This is more important than health care, education, a minimum wage, or energy independence. We've got to get these people out before